you gonna love who you love, no matter what Give me your resources. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, no I'm matter not what resources, you're about to get off because the, table. the resource you're about is to get a kicked plus. Off the, table. the resource <laughs> is a plus. Yes, everyone wants some. Not everyone. Talk about fairy not and not you. no. Because I'm just saying, for me, for example, I would prefer to date someone that has a car. But if I really like somebody and they don't got a car, am I not gonna date them? No. But would it be nice if they had a car? But now, if you're not feeling them like that, they're <laughs> definitely going to get checked off your box real quick because they don't have a car. No. Yeah. If I'm not feeling them like that, it's because I'm not feeling them like not like that. Okay. okay what not if they because have they nothing? don't have a Amanda, car. Amanda, they have nothing. No, what is not nothing what mean? No money. No, They have no money, no no potential in they working. They j Pardon me. They just are the person that you love. They treat you the way that you want. They, they, they have sex with you the way that you like or love, and they can do all those intangible things, but they have no job. They have no ambitions on working. They have no financials. They have no transportation. All of those resources I've taken out. You only get the intangibles that end physical sex that you actually like. You go Okay, so poetry, how which, I'm which going to respond to this, right, is Just don't that lie. is no, right, I'm not lying, but don't interrupt me. Sorry. <laughs> Even when they don't have this and that and that and that, right? Anything. That is That's not of... that is yeah. not the reason I would love them in the first place. It's all the other things that you said that I would be interested in them, right? Rico, shut up. <laughs> but because they don't have this and this and this, it probably may not work for us. So I'd walk away, but that's not the resources is not going to be the reason that I love them. So let me re let me re let me rephrase what the true question is. Okay? Because this is a three part. I'm about to be a trap, Amanda. Do people love <laughs> it, it, it already is. Do people love the do, yeah, and I already know the answer. This is a terrible question for you. Um, do people want the love or the resources or the third part is, can they separate certain resources that is an individual standard? I'm confused. Like a, like a, um, something that they just require to be with a person in general? It's there, but individually, because yours could be different than hers, right? Yours could be, he has to make seven figures. Her, hers could be, he has to have a job. It doesn't matter <laughs> if it's at Amazon. He just has to work. You feel what I'm saying? So, but that's but that's my point though. For a like, successful relationship, why does it, though. For a successful relationship, why can't someone just keep moving on until they find what they want in a person? Like, why do we have to Agreed. sacrifice, like having a person with resources or just dating for love? Like, if I find someone who I am interested in, but they don't have this, this, and that. And the third, and I know that that's not going to make for a successful relationship. Why can't I just say, okay, that's not going to work. I'm moving on. It's not like I can't okay, love that this, person now, because they don't have a car. Okay, but now let's say, oh. let's really put it realistic. Let's stupid. say that this is a guy who, you like, know, or, or, or anyone. <laughs> Y'all too. <laughs> uh, but let's be realistic. Let's say there's someone who can really offer you anything. What do you like to do right now, like career-wise? I bake. Right. So let's say somebody's like, oh, I can open your bakery right now. I could do all of this. You're gonna go with them, or you're gonna go with the person who's like, I just want to walk in a park and talk with you all night, and that's it. Just talk every home, day, write poetry, and you're not doing anything for your career, anything uh, financially, any of that. But what are you doing? let me just tell no, no, you, right now, honestly, just a real. And I'm going to tell. I'm okay. trying to be honest right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> the person that's gonna say like, I'll open a bakery for you right now, whatever you want, is a boasty kind of man. That is man, I'm just saying anybody. It anybody, a whatever. A boasty kind of person that is just going to try to throw anything at me so that I can date him, so that I can like him, and I don't like people like that. No, you just changed it around. I didn't say that. I said he said it nicely and everything. Like, hey babe, I'm gonna buy you this. Da, da, da. I didn't say nothing like oh I didn't you. Yeah. I didn't and do you like and you like him? Yeah. yeah. And you like him. You like yeah. the both of them. Yeah, you like both of them. That's what I'm saying. You like both of them. But this one is doing this. A, B, C, and D. So and I like is... both of them the same, but this person is going to offer me a bakery? Yes. Then that's there's no question. Of course I'm going to go with the person that's going to offer me a bakery if I like them the same. Now let me, add, let me add this now, right? That person also says, if you stop liking me right. and you decided to want to leave me, I'm taking the bakery. What do you do? I mean... Well, let her let her answer. Let her answer. Let, yeah. It's fair? <laughs> After you gave fair. me the bakery? That's not fair. fair. 
Oh. Because are you no, are you pushing your are you pushing this relationship based on the resources that you can provide for me, or do you really love me? Did you do this out of love, or did you just do this to say I did something for you? Well, no, sometimes but it's out of love, but then you start acting crazy, and then it's like fuck out of here. Like I'm taking everything no. back. If, if, if this is this. something you're gonna dangle over my head, then no, you don't have to get it to me. You don't. Can you I don't answer? have to. No. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Go ahead, Aaron. I, I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm gonna take the person with the resources. Right. I'm gonna make my money, um, and if they want to take it away, you can't take everything away. You could take the initial investment away, right. which you brought. If you're smarter, whatever I flip, if you're smarter. Yeah. <laughs> like you can, if you gave so me, so you gonna have to work on that quick. If you gave me a million, <laughs> no, if you gave me a million dollars and we together for three years, and I flipped that million right. baking cakes, and I got a whole brick That's and what mortar I'm saying, store you're gonna have now, to do some quick flipping, and now you know I'm bringing in you know two million take home. Um, yeah, you can get your little uh, upfront investment back. Get Bye. your million and, yeah. and, and, and or store. But now, question: Whatever, yeah. What's the difference from and loving store. somebody with resources and just loving somebody? Niggas really be corny. Money? Y'all don't what's really. Y'all don't sound how corny uh, no, y'all I said, are. What's the difference? Well, one is incredibly yeah. transactional. Yeah, yeah. like sure. it's 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 base level. Like everything is transactional. Like this space on exactly what you have and what you can do for me. And if you can no longer do those things, you I have no use for you. Right. I feel like that's what we're talking about. No, no yeah. because in a sense, right. yes, it's no, not London the same. is no. I know it's not, well, but I feel like that's you get what I'm saying. Like I know it's not the same, like mentally. But what I'm saying is, it feels like it is because you're saying pretty much like I'm gonna do all of this, and then you're gonna do all of this, and then if it changes, then we we gotta we gotta like exit. Like you get I what don't I'm saying? know. But, but I think London is saying. I well, that. I kind of I agree with London to a certain extent because let's live in the reality and not in Amanda's world. <laughs> right. There has I mean, never I mean, been, well, whatever, I, and, right. and I really- You're like, love, 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 yeah. like, come on. And I, I, I was in the real world. Which was, is that? No. That's not. That's, I, that's I live in the real world. I don't know, you love live. The bills. That means you're here. Your mind is elsewhere. But what I will say is- I, I, strong, I, Amanda. I have not- <laughs> I will, because I, I will not, I will not- That's why we love you. Bend over pressure, right. okay? I have not been here this this entire existence of human hu, humankind, right? Uh, mankind, my fault. Human beings, mankind. I have not been here that long. But what I do know is that people have been on Earth for about three hundred thirty-eight thousand years, and everything that I have learned from all the history and ancient civilizations is that nobody was ever together for love, solely. Okay. Not one civilization, not one successful person, not one miserable person, maybe so, right? <laughs> because that's why they're miserable, right? But what I will say is when we think about it, there are certain resources that are in individual standards. You know what my certain resources are? Could be like she has to have a job that makes six figures. She has to have a car. She has to have ambition. She has to have melanin. I want my children and the people and, and the, the, the kids that I bring into this world to be brown skinned. That's my personal standard. That's a resource, right? Your resource could be entirely different, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But nobody has ever dated without certain pre-qualifications that have to be met outside of the fact that I actually like you and, and or love you. And that's the point that we have to understand. Now, I agree with Aaron. If you coming in with a lot less and you're leaving with a lot more, right, based on my personal resources, and I decide to take that away from you, understand that it was never yours to begin with. It was mine that I was lending to you while you were here. It was basically a rental. You got to charge that to the game. Yeah, yeah. And, and you got to <laughs> give it back. And or if, if whatever you make off of it is yours rightfully so. Which is what Aaron said, which yeah. is smart. Like, which I like that. Plan, then... That'll make All me right, stay. I'll be like, can I disgusting. double my money? Can I put double the investment? <laughs> he said lending. Like, yeah. I'm lending. lending this to you. Like, if you love somebody and you're going to help them with an investment, whatever, let them have it. No, I agree. Well, it depends on how it ends, though. Like, that's, right? yeah. that's corny ending. for you to end and be like, all right, well, I'm taking whatever I provided for you back. Well, Rico also did say that you have to give back stuff from your previous relationship. So, so it looks like I'm holding true to He's very <laughs> on brand. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. But think about it. That's what the entertainment industry is. Sure is. So, so people want to sit here and cry, right? And, and this is why I don't feel bad. When you are somebody who are making certain sacrifices, I don't care if it's leaving your family. I don't care if it's compromising your morals. And then you want to play victim after you got whatever you wanted. 
you are not in a position to cry for to cry wolf. You are not because you knew the sacrifices that you were making for the resources that that person was providing. People need to understand that no resource comes without condition. Mm. And when you understand that no resource comes without condition, then you need to then you need to understand <laughs> that I gotta take what come with it. Once once it goes south, you know what I'm saying? Like we hear it all the time. I mean, I I did modeling, I did music, I did acting. I heard models that got taken advantage of. And I'd be like, how'd you get taken advantage of? And you did that for the photo shoot. Does it make the sense? the model is gullible. I think that's what it is. If the person them yeah. themselves is gullible, then yeah, you're going to get ran over. So I feel like that's the situation. You got to stay in your ground like Amanda Let's says. not just say that they're gullible and maybe they were manipulated. They're not manipulated. They're thirsty and hungry well, for an opportunity. Young, sure. yeah, no, no, no. Can I interject? Yes, please. So I think it's both, actually. Because I think you can be manipulated because perhaps you've hit the wall so many times and this is your only opening mm -hmm. and opportunity to make something happen. And they gonna hold this over your head. Yeah, you gotta drop them draws so you can do X, Y, yeah. and Z. Great. And I always say this, a choice is a choice. You had two very, I mean, bad choices. Like they, they're not great. I mean, one is great, but you know what I mean? It's not like something you would just jump for joy to do. But you have to pick one and you got to live with that, own whatever it. it is. You got to own it. Like, you get a reflection period, like, you know, like y'all said, and and maybe make better decisions from that. But you can't be like, oh, they made me do it. No, you chose. You, do you was at a crossroad. That's the thing. Yeah. People try to be a victim after they did what they did because they were in survival mode. Right. And that doesn't work that way. Well, because you're left, like, with nothing. That's not my fault. You should have been more smarter and planned that and made sure that you was looking good at the end. That's what yeah, I did, yeah. and that's why he's fine now. I'm not saying that... I'm sorry. I'm not saying that the person that's dangling the stuff is all right, by the no, way. I'm right. not... Ethically, I'm not, they're not right. Yeah, right. ethically, no, no, no. I don't give no, them... I agree. But Thank they you, would Marie. not exist if the people weren't willing to do it. Well, I kind of 50-50, because I feel like, no, if you did something dirty to me, and I, maybe it's the cancer in me, I feel like I'm going to be that one to be like, I want everything back. Like, uh-uh. Like, I'm taking the keys, the car, the house, everything. Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of person I am. But I'm trying to learn how to not be petty. But sometimes you got to be petty to teach somebody, like, don't play with me. Listen, you know. <laughs> don't play with it, don't play I with it. I was about to say that. <laughs> yeah. but, 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 I'll be damned to change your life, and you think you're going to run off. I mean, if the car under your name, you can take it back. So, Alan, that's cute. But I think that they're still making a choice mm. to freely give their resources with no strings attached. Agreed. Like, I don't know how long you said in that scenario, how long that lady was staying with this old guy. But, like, if she stayed there for a year and she ain't paid nothing, she ain't even buy, buying her own toothpaste, then that's on him. She went up. She better take that L. That's yeah. a what you allow is what persists. Exactly. Yeah. And if you if you're gonna continue to allow to be used, <laughs> the using will be persistent. Like you don't even want to buy the two. Absolutely. Uh, no, I've been here for a very long time. To be Did honest. you just say you haven't been here for right. a very long time? <laughs> no, no. Earlier you, you said you earlier haven't you been said here. you haven't. Remember? I haven't. Yeah. Been here. Yes. Maybe this on this er, on this this go round. Yeah, I mean this go round. Okay. This go round. Gotcha. I mean. But I I said I haven't been here the whole time. Okay. I'm not 338,000 years old. I'm probably like 15,000, 25. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's neither here nor there, guys. Next. But, but what I'm saying is time is very, they say time is very precious, right? Because it's the only thing that you can't get back. However, a lot of times it took that time for you to go through that time for you to understand where you need to be. So now, is the time the most express, uh, most precious thing, or is your knowledge and or lessons, or knowledge and or wisdom after your lessons the most important thing? See, I hold on. Uh, well, I think like because you have to experience something, right? Yeah. But just because you experience doesn't mean you learn. Agreed. So now, what you learn throughout that time is realistically, in my opinion, the most important thing. But I feel like you should always learn from your your um, situation. So I feel like yeah. if you're not, then that's a whole different thing. I feel like with this, with time, I feel <laughs> like... your time was just wasted. Yeah, your time was just wasted. But I feel like with They'll time, I think it's more important because even like, let's just take kids, you know what I mean? Seeing your kids grow up, let's say you're in jail, you never get that time back ever again. You get what yeah. I'm saying? If you didn't learn that lesson, you're going to be back in jail. You get So I, I guess it's a 50-50 like yeah, you said. You just have another kid. <laughs> but you can't have those memories that those yeah. kids had. You know what I mean? It's entirely different time. You could have. It's you could, yeah, you had the time. <laughs> I just said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, sometimes you don't get that money back. Let's be real. 
uh, you real sick about time too, right? <laughs> just say you it. can't ask for that back. I'm just say it. Sometimes you always have the opportunity to, as yeah, long as you got time. Money, but the opportunity sounds good. A lot of people fall off and never get back. You know, Jada Kiss asked this question. I don't know what's worse, never making it or making it and losing it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because when you experience something and then you lose it all, and then you spend the rest of your life right. trying to get it back. Yeah. Imagine being 80, you start off, you fall off at 30 years old, right? And then you 80 years old and you just looking back for the last 50 years, you spent your life trying to get that back and you never did. I, I, it's like viral moments. It, that's going to be a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. Well, a lot of times you only get one shot. People don't right. realize you only get one and shot. You're extra sometimes. careful the second time if you really? do right. to get it back. A lot of people yeah, only right. get one chance. We no, all get one fair chance. That, shorty. I don't. Yeah. I don't right. think you only get one right. shot. Right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I think if that's what you believe, then <laughs> you you'll get one shot. <laughs> yeah, you definitely. Yeah. You there's a lot of things. Yeah. No coming back. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of things you only get one chance at doing, right? But we gotta also think about it. Sometimes. Yeah. You might be able to get that opportunity again, but to know the difference is, and something that I realize is as you get older, as you experience more in life, you're not always willing to make that same sacrifice. And sometimes that sacrifice is the only way you get that second opportunity. And when you can't make that because you can't live with that, that's when you never get that opportunity again. That's, that's a good point. It's like riding a roller coaster. Like, you know, right. you probably did it a lot when you were younger because the, the risk didn't bother you. But now yeah. that you're 40, you like. It was always a risk for me, honey. Same. But you're not, you know, yep, yep. when you're younger, you do no things. No, when you're no, younger, no. you do things more blindly and you do things that are. It's because they didn't teach us about fear. Riskier. And, stuff. and that's why I agree with yeah. that. Like, they don't teach you about fear when you're young. They don't teach you about making mistakes. So you're just like, I'm just going to do everything. And I yeah. wish we can go back to being a kid again mentally. Yeah. Because then you just go for everything in life. Then you won't think of the fears and the, the roadblocks. You just be like, let's do, let's do, let's do. Instead mm -hmm. of like, what if, what if, what if, you know? Or I know, I know, I know. It's like, I already know what's going to happen. I, I ain't going down that road. I was a I'm good. smart kid. Me too. I, was. I don't know. I, I, I was think ambitious kid. Like, yeah. Back to like Deborah Lee. Um, <laughs> now that, it's like now that <laughs> we've seen the clip, I think that dropping in all of those like hot buzzwords, that's gonna come back on her negatively. And I also think that it af negatively affects women who are actually in situations mm -hmm. where they like were like, you know, over somebody's barrel. Yeah. Yes. You know, they're actually in that position. That comparison. Like, yeah. Right. They were actually, I don't wanna say, I, it, I don't wanna go to that extreme that it's almost an insult to women who are truly experiencing sexual harassment Correct. and assault and that, that are feeling like they have zero options. Like, really, you don't have an option because maybe you got to feed your baby and you don't, got, you don't know what you're going to do. And you only making uh, $12.50 an hour. Right. Crazy. Yeah, they were, like, they were you, you know, your back's against the like, wall. She was making millions. Uh, yeah, like, don't, 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 we're not the same. Don't do that. Probably not. Interview. Did you know she dropped this interview on Breakfast Club on International Women's Day? And that's what I mean. Everything is all like about that. like a little, um, like a soundbite. Yeah, kind of, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like everything is planned, which I guess because she's a CEO, she has to be. But I feel like everything she's saying just looks like a setup for to take down on her man. That's what it looks like. A setup to get bigger and 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 benefit. Yeah, benefit. and 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 you're right. Victim. And that's the thing. Like I like the hot buttons, the hot buzzwords that you said is the part that bothers me most mm -hmm. because like there are people like you said I was a single mother. You are a millionaire. Right. Do With not house. do not compare yourself to the single mothers who are struggling making twenty five thousand with a, one or two kids a year. You're a single mother millionaire. You can afford all the resources that you need. You know what I'm saying? So like when you you try to, in my opinion, people try to get to a group so then that they way they can her. get protected by that group yeah. and get sponsored. So she went and got what got after the single parents. Mm -hmm. She got after the victims who are actually having some type of posting on Women's Day. Yeah, yeah. Then you went with the National Women's Day post or it was aired on National Women's Day. Like, why do they do that? Because some people in my mind and I don't see I don't know Deborah. So I tell you, I think <laughs> she's sick. She, like I don't, I don't have no loyalty to Deborah. I'm letting y'all know that now. 
She is like anybody who does that is not is not right mentally in my mind. So I think it's about politics. I feel like it's yes. about the politics thing. You get what I'm saying? I'm yes. sure they talked to her about all the things that everybody's gonna say about her. So she's like, so maybe we should throw in the Me Too, or maybe we should throw yeah. in that he did this, so that they take it more seriously. Yeah, this was and definitely think, coached because this yeah, is not recent coach. happenings. Like right. this happened y'all, y'all, so long ago. Again, she was like CEO years. for a very long 13 time. Thirteen years. Thirteen years. So, <laughs> but I, I, I imagine she did her uh, decision tree on her. <laughs> On her own. She now knows what back, the fuck the shit like, look like. Maybe she didn't, because I'm like, now thinking about it, as a black woman in her position, maybe that's why she didn't say anything. Because I feel like some, and now I'm playing devil advocate myself. Back then? Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like, because sense. she would have lost her job. as a black woman, she should have still now, never said anything, London, to be honest. She would have got further. She would have got She sits further. on several boards now. Very, really, like, Fortune 500 companies. She is a person about town. So she's trying to make sure her legacy reputation is yeah. not as stained because this is public is. knowledge that you okay. had this affair, right? So what you're doing is you're doing a clean about. And right. yeah. you could have done the clean about by just owning what you did. Right. Yeah. And you know what the worst part is? Is that you did this while having an affair. I can understand if you were single, you That's might the least of her words. Yeah, but if you were single, you were more yeah. believable. You were married, Miss Miss Deborah. You had a whole she husband. She didn't worry about that. that they were, the they both were. So it didn't even, it didn't even no really stain her too yeah. much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely the main part, for sure. You want to try more, to clean it up. It's, it's going back to the topic. People are more concerned about like their what can they give to people and what can they, you know, my title is more important than, you know, anything. 